Hi, my name's Adam. I'm a fifth year medical student. Can I check your name and date of birth? Harry Miles, 21st of the 10th, 1998. Great. And what's brought you in today? I've just had this horrible chest pain since last night. Um, I didn't really think anything of it at the time, and then it just got worse and worse as uh, sort of the evening went on, and then uh, it, it was particularly bad uh, in bed, and it couldn't get a wink of sleep all night. Okay. Can you tell me a bit more about it? Uh, so it's, it's sort of behind my breastbone, slightly to the left. Um, and again, it sort of started sort of feeling it, but I didn't really think anything of it. It wasn't too bad. And then it just got really, really bad. Um, you know, as the evening went on, I've just found that breathing became quite painful. Really, I tried to take as sort of shallower breath as I could, basically. Okay. I'll just ask you a few more questions about that. So you've told me the pain's in the middle. Did it come on suddenly or gradually? Uh, I, I guess it was suddenly, but it was the, the pain was gradually worse. So it, it suddenly sort of, I felt it, but it wasn't too bad. And then the pain got worse as, as it went on. And how would you describe the pain? It's sharp, sharp, sort of almost catches my breath quite a lot. And you said it's, it's in the middle of your chest, slightly on the left side. So does it go anywhere, like to your left arm or to your jaw, or does it just stay there? No, nah, it stays there. And when you get the pain, do you get any other symptoms at the same time? You, like breathlessness, palpitations, do you feel sweaty? No. And when the pain comes on, how long does it last for? Constant. It's constant. Um, and it just gets worse and worse. And you said it's worse when you're breathing. Is, is there anything else that makes it worse? Like if you're sitting in a certain position or if you're on exertion, if you're walking around, for example? Honestly, walking around, sitting down hurts just as much. Um, I, I did find going to bed, it started hurting a bit more. Um, but, you know. So is it worse when you were lying down? Yeah, 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 I think so. And on a scale of one to 10, how bad would you say the pain is if 10 is the worst pain you can imagine and 1 is no pain at all? It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. I, I, I don't like the number scale. I just think one man's 10 is another man's 5. You know what I mean? I understand. What do you think could be causing your symptoms? <sighs> I haven't got a clue. I haven't got a clue. Are you worried about it? Uh, I was kind of worried I was having a heart attack, if I'm honest. Okay. Why, why is that? Uh, uh, three years ago, my dad passed away from a heart attack, um, and so just kind of since then, really, I've just been a bit more concerned about my heart. You know, I keep thinking about you know being in the hospital and things like that. So I've, I've tried to be a bit more sort of cautious. I'm sorry to hear that. That must have been really difficult. Mm -hmm. Was there anything that you were hoping I could do today? <laughs> if I'm honest, I just want you to tell me I'm overreacting and. <laughs> Sort me out. Okay. And I'll just ask you a few more questions about your symptoms, if that's okay. Mm -hmm. Have you felt unwell recently? Uh, I had, well, I had the sniffles last week and a bit of a sore throat, but, uh, you know, I came through worse than that now. Um, well, until last night, basically. Any dizziness, feeling faint, or have you fainted? No, no, nothing like that. Have you felt sweaty or had any night sweats? No, no. Any weight loss? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> <laughs> Um, any pain or swelling in your legs? Uh, no. Nope. Have you had any trauma or injuries to your chest wall? No. I'm just going to summarise back what you've just told me. If I get any of it wrong, just let me know. Mm -hmm. so you've got a sharp, central, slightly left-sided chest pain, which started last night after work. It feels worse when you lie down and when you take a deep breath. It's mm -hmm. slightly better when you lean forwards. You've had a sniffle and a sore throat recently. Does that sound about right? Yeah, yeah. And do you have any other medical conditions? Uh, no, I'm, I'm usually quite fit and well. Um, I mean, I, I had a, uh, my tonsils out when I was 12, but other than that, you know, quite an active lifestyle with my job. So, um, yeah. Good. Do you take any regular medications? Uh, no, I, I had my second COVID jab about six months ago, though. Okay. Are you allergic to any medications or drugs that you know of? Uh, not that I know of. So you mentioned your dad had a heart attack. How old was he when he had a heart attack? Uh, he was about 68 years old, I think. Okay. And are there any other medical problems that run in the family? No. I'm just going to ask you a few more questions about yourself, if that's okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you smoke? 
Uh, socially, um, you know, just sort of if I'm at the pub with my mates, basically, or just, yeah, socially have it then. Okay. How, how many do you smoke and how, how often might you smoke? Uh, maybe like once a week, every other week, maybe I go through a couple, maybe three. Okay. And do you drink alcohol? Uh, yeah, so uh, if there's like a good football game on, we'll, that's when me and my mates would go to the pub and that's, that's when the cigarettes come out and we'll have a few pints as well, yeah. Okay, so how, how many drinks might you have when you when you do drink? Uh, not too many, it's only about three or four. I don't tend to drink much at home either, um, but yeah, about probably three or four. Is that normal strength lager? Yeah, yeah, just sort of stuff off the tap. Okay, how often do you go out with your mates for a drink? Uh, maybe... Once a week, every other week. It's, it's more just if there's a pr good game on mm. and a, just an excuse to see my mate, basically. Yeah, okay. and do you take any recreational drugs or any, any drugs that aren't prescribed from the GP? Uh, uh, about six months ago, um, me and my mates went to a, a nightclub and we, we, had, we had a bag of cocaine with us. Have you taken any recreational drugs since then? No, 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 no. It was just a sort of one-off at the time. Okay. Do you live by yourself? Uh, no, I live with my fiance and uh, my little dog. Uh, and actually, that reminds me, um, she also had the sniffles uh, last week. Okay. And have you travelled abroad anywhere recently? Uh, <laughs> uh, well, my my stag do basically got cancelled because of COVID, so uh, I haven't been anywhere in about three years now. Sorry to hear that. Are you working at the moment? Uh, yeah, I'm a plumber. And do you feel able to go to work with your symptoms? Mm, I, I decided to have to day off today. Do you have any other questions? Mm -mm. Okay, that's the end of the consultation. Thanks for talking to me today. Harry is a 23-year-old plumber who presented with a one-day history of sharp central chest pain. The pain was worsened by lying down flat and alleviated by leaning forwards. He's recently had symptoms consistent with a viral upper respiratory tract infection. He denies any shortness of breath or syncope. There's no significant past medical history and he doesn't take any regular medications. He smokes two or three cigarettes a week and drinks three or four pints of normal strength lager every week. He reports using cocaine six months ago, but denies taking it since then. Harry's primary concern is a myocardial infarction, as his dad had a heart attack aged 68, and he'd like reassurance with regards to this. Based on the history today, the most likely diagnosis is pericarditis. Other differential diagnoses include pulmonary embolism, pleurisy, and musculoskeletal chest pain. To complete my assessment, I'd perform a full cardiorespiratory examination. If you enjoyed this video, check out the Geeky Medics collection of over 500 OSCE stations and put your OSCE skills to the test. You can practice with friends, create your own study group, or team up with another member of the Geeky Medics community with our OSCE Match feature. Sign up today to access our selection of free OSCE stations.